This December, the universe has plenty in store for us, and each event is a chance to experience the wonder of space right from our own backyard. From stunning planetary alignments, to dazzling meteor showers, and the shifting phases of the moon, the sky will be alive with stories waiting to be told. In this video, we'll explore these incredible celestial events, break down the science behind them. So without further ado, let's get started. December 2024 kicks off with some of the most visually stunning planetary phenomena of the year, showcasing the dynamic interactions within our solar system. Among these events, Jupiter's opposition stands out as a highlight, offering a unique opportunity for both amateur stargazers and seasoned astronomers. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, reaches opposition on December 7th. At opposition, the Sun, Earth, and Jupiter align in a straight line with Earth positioned directly between the Sun and Jupiter. This configuration brings Jupiter closer to Earth than at any other time of the year, making it shine brighter and appear larger in the night sky. For observers, this is the best time to view the gas giant. But what does this alignment mean scientifically? The term opposition refers to the moment when a celestial body is on the opposite side of the sky from the Sun. This positioning ensures that Jupiter is fully illuminated by the Sun, making its features more visible even through small telescopes. Its iconic cloud bands, created by powerful jet streams in its atmosphere, and the Great Red Spot, a centuries-old storm larger than Earth, are clearly observable. Beyond its own beauty, Jupiter also offers a view of its Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. These moons, discovered by Galileo in 1610, are each unique worlds, with Europa being of particular interest for its potential subsurface ocean. From a broader perspective, studying Jupiter during its opposition provides critical insights into gas giants, which can inform our understanding of exoplanets and other solar systems. Jupiter serves as a template for these massive worlds, offering clues about atmospheric composition, magnetic fields, and planetary formation. Just a few days before Jupiter's opposition, the evening sky will offer another celestial treat, a conjunction of the Moon and Venus on December 4th. Conjunctions occur when two celestial bodies appear close together in the sky from our viewpoint on Earth. This event will showcase a slender crescent moon nestled near Venus, often referred to as the evening star because of its brilliant glow. Venus's brightness is a result of its thick, reflective atmosphere, composed primarily of carbon dioxide and clouds of sulfuric acid. Its proximity to the moon creates a striking visual pairing that's both easy to spot and captivating for observers of all levels. The conjunction also serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of celestial mechanics and the alignment of planetary orbits. Later in the month, the Moon will have another close encounter, this time with Jupiter. On December 14th, the full Moon will pass near Jupiter in the night sky. This pairing creates a bright focal point in the heavens, with the Moon's brilliance accentuated by Jupiter's steady glow. Conjunctions like these provide practical benefits for observers. For those new to stargazing, these events offer easily identifiable markers to locate planets and learn the basics of sky navigation. For experienced astronomers, they highlight the rhythmic motion of celestial objects and the precision of their orbits. This December, we will witness two meteor showers, the prolific Geminides and the quieter but no less fascinating Ursids. The Geminids are widely regarded as one of the most spectacular meteor showers of the year. Unlike most meteor showers, which are caused by debris from comets, the Geminides originate from an asteroid known as 3200 Phaethon. This unusual parent body sheds rocky debris as it travels close to the sun, leaving behind a trail of particles that Earth passes through each December. At their peak, the Geminides can produce up to 150 meteors per hour under optimal conditions. 
These meteors are notable for their brightness and color, which can range from white to yellow, blue, and even green, depending on their composition and the atmospheric gases they interact with. In 2024, the Gemini peak coincides with a nearly full moon, which could limit visibility of fainter meteors. However, the Geminides are known for their luminous streaks, and many meteors will still be visible despite the bright moonlight. To maximize the experience, observers are advised to find a dark location away from city lights and watch after midnight, when the radiant point in the constellation Gemini is highest. Beyond their visual appeal, the Geminides offer valuable scientific data. Meteor showers provide a glimpse into the composition of their parent bodies, helping researchers study the evolution of asteroids and the impact of solar radiation on their surfaces. Understanding the behavior of these meteors also contributes to our knowledge of near-Earth objects and their potential risks. The Ursids, a lesser-known meteor shower, peaks around December 22nd, with rates of 5 to 10 meteors per hour, they are not as intense as the Geminides, but still hold a quiet charm. These meteors originate from Comet 8P Tuttle, and their radiant point lies near the bowl of the Little Dipper in the constellation Ursa Minor. The timing of the Ursid's peak coincides with a waning gibbous moon, which might reduce the visibility of fainter meteors. However, those who persevere in dark conditions can still enjoy the sight of meteors streaking through the northern sky. December begins and ends with new moons on December 1st and 30th. These phases occur when the moon is positioned between Earth and the Sun, rendering it invisible to the naked eye. New moons create ideal conditions for deep sky observation, as their absence of light pollution allows stars, nebulae, and galaxies to shine more clearly. Mid-month, the full moon on December 15th, known as the cold moon, will dominate the night sky. While its brightness can obscure fainter celestial objects, the full moon has cultural and historical significance, marking the final full phase of the year. Its name originates from the harsh winter conditions typical in December. The December solstice marks the sun's southernmost position in the sky, bringing the shortest day and longest night of the year to the northern hemisphere. For the southern hemisphere, it signals the start of summer, this solstice has been celebrated for millennia as a time of renewal and hope, symbolizing the gradual return of longer days. Scientifically, the solstice highlights the importance of Earth's axial tilt in shaping our seasons. This tilt not only drives the cycles of nature, but also influences human activity, from agriculture to cultural traditions. Observing the solstice is a reminder of our planet's delicate balance and its connection to the sun, a relationship that sustains life as we know it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting explorations of the universe. See you next time.